So what is up guys, G'day Kevin today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda on our website this week. This is going to be episode 280 within my series, but without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. For our first spot within the video is going to be the Dharma Race, coming in at 49.9 kilobytes of a download, keeping themselves private from the world. This race has now emerged. For this one, there is a own racial class to do with this one. Specialities of this one are stealth and assassinations. Skills of this one is sneak plus 10, archery plus 5, one-handed, light armor, illusion, Restoration and speech all at a plus five too. The abilities of this particular race are water breathing, the magic resist by 25% and poison resist all the way up to an astonishing 75%. Comes with a bunch of spells as well, but if this does entice you straight off the bat and you like what you see, click the link down below, have a little read up and download. For the second spot within the video is going to be Civilians Redressed, coming in at 13.9 kilobytes of a download. Just a simple mod where some of the NPCs, not named within the description, in the mod author's opinion, needed different clothing. This includes the marriageable NPCs and wolf armor added to the companions. Again, it's not specified which NPCs this actually does redressed, but I'm holding out as it is only 13.9 kilobytes of a download. For the third spot within this video is going to be bare chest armor this is going to be a port from the nexusmods.com and this one is coming in 11.6 megabytes of a download now you can bear your chest gentlemen no longer are women only the ones who can flaunt themselves with skirts craftable at the tanning rack three different variations of this one tg based armor in black brown and tan please note the full 100 slider might have clipped so be careful if you are making a quantity of these but you shouldn't because that's a little bit weird but if you are making a few here and there you shouldn't have any problems detailing an overall look to these ones is really nice indeed black one is my going to be my favorite and very versatile of what you can actually pair with it Materials, armor, and the Eldruin sword is the next spot within this video, and obviously going to be the thumbnail taker for this particular video. This one is coming in at 43.6 megabytes of a download, and it is full permissions to head over to the Professor Lightner website. We did cover this one absolutely ages ago, but it was for Old Rim. A lot of people have been commenting on that particular video, saying that you do realize this one has been updated. Yes, do not worry, I am currently covering it as you type your little comment. So yes, this one is back out for us for special edition. Crafting it can be obtained via that method in the Skyforge. Everything is now craftable, so like of the other one, I do believe you actually had to find it in certain sections, and you actually had to have a lot of requirements if you were to sort of recreate certain different perks. And I believe there was only one set of armor for this one. I think there's two different versions: a light and a dark. You will need the glass smithing perk to create the light version, and the Elven smithing perk to create the heavy version for the sword and the rings will unlock from either perk all items appear under the miscellaneous section the pictures of these items that you will craft are will be very small indeed as you can tell on screen now but once all put together and sort of altered and pretty much chop and change to what you want it is a fully fleshed set of gear i really did enjoy this one back in the day and obviously this one has now hit the bethesda website this week i thought it would cover it as it is really a no-brainer and a absolutely magnificent set to be added to your collection for the fifth and final spot is going to be a mod called Imperial Backup, coming in at 3.5 kilobytes of a download. The mod author wanted to make something a little bit different and kind of a followers from a previous version to do with the Imperials were a little bit weaker. The Imperials Backup will now eventually follow you wherever you may go. These guys are friendly to the player's faction and will help you within combat. The mod doesn't conflict with the civil war, also the mod author has made them essential and only you can kill them. This group of Imperials will level up with the player all the way to level 200, but the default level for these ones is going to be 10 with 500 HP and only 3 perks on each of the Imperial soldiers and in the Imperial captain. Imperial mage however has 6 perks supporting destruction magic and a few other different things, low HP and stamina, but also the 2 
swordsmen are going to be a little bit more tankier than the mage that is going to be pretty much a no-brainer but if you are taking these round and you are going to be the imperial faction these are going to be great through a nice playthrough indeed hopefully we do get to see a stormcloak one as there are many sitting on the other side of the fence so guys, that's the end of this video. This has been episode 280 within my series. If you did enjoy it, I'd very much appreciate a like on the video. It does help me out an awful lot. If you're new around here too, make sure to click that subscribe button right next to it as well. There is going to be a little bell icon. If you click that, you will get a notification for every single time I upload a video to the channel. And until the next one, guys, get a give it and get a give out.